What's good, everybody? It's your boy Chas Custom, Custom Model Cars. Big shout out to everybody, much props. Thank you all for your comments. Appreciate it very much. Got another model kit review for you guys. It is the uh, Revell Dodge Ram VTS pickup. It is a scale level two, 125th scale. Uh, pretty awesome kit. And um, here's a picture of the uh, little little bit of the um, the details of the of the model kit and some pictures. And of course the box art is the same. Then you have um, the back side which shows a side view of the model kit itself. On a scale of 1 through 10 I give this kit um, a number 7. It is a nice kit overall and it does build up as a nice kit. But um, there's a few things that could be worked out. But And I believe this one is the, um, the first um, issued version of the truck itself. So I'm proud to have this as my collection. Um, I did build one up earlier. It should be on my channel somewhere. And uh, messed up the paint on the body and everything else. And um, ended up with a, a new body that was given to me at the same time when I bought this kit. So, And um, this was a long, long time ago. So the body that was given to me was already painted. So, And it was just to use up all the parts that was in here. I didn't want it to go to waste because I love this truck. So... so um, yeah, let's go ahead and get into this and show you guys why it got a rating of 7. Um, here's the um, the interior tub to the truck. Nicely molded. It's got the molded in uh, gas pedal and uh, your floor mat. And it's got some carpet detailing. Um, it's got some other nice detailing to the whole tub. Of course, your door panels glue in the sides here. And your bench seat glues here. And you also got some nice detailing there for the bottom of it. So really, really nice. And then of course you have your body. Um, it was painted a blue. The person that sent it to me and I stripped it and it got stained. I don't know how, but I tried over and over and just, it won't come off. So the downside of this whole um, truck is that the um, um, I got some stuff on there, some crud. But the downside of this whole truck is that the body uh, is molded to the um, or the truck bed is molded to the cab. And you get this one little uh, wall here that you have to glue into place, which makes it look like it's separating the cab from the bed. It's kind of a down, downside. Yeah, um, the, the roll pan is molded in, but you have to glue in these sides. They should have just went ahead and just molded everything in, you know what I mean? So that's another um, downside there. But um, overall, the body is really, really nice. You got the Ram VTS um, badging. You got places to put your mirrors. It's got molded in um, door handles and the uh, windshield wiper. You got the molded in battery and little little stuff there. And then your radiator um, support with the latch. And you got the little fuse fuse box over here. Um, just some little minor um, sink marks um, to get rid of on the corners here. And you got a place for your dome light. So other than that, it's really, really nicely molded. Just wish it was separated, you know? So it's all good. On this parts tree here, you have the chassis, uh, another nicely molded piece, fits together, it's got the molded in fuel tank, um, very heavy duty looking, of course it's got the molded in um, uh, the cab mounts as well. And then you have your uh, firewall with the molded in um, uh, booster and the uh, other stuff there. And there's nothing on the back side of it. so. And then you have your um, you have your front suspension, and then you have your rear sway bar with bolt detail uh, detail on it. So that's really cool. Okay, on this um, parts tree here, you have your left and right door panel with all the molded in details, of course, and your door speakers. You can carpet the bottom here. It's got the little carpet detail on it, uh, molded in the texture. So there you go. And then here's the uh, front of the um, bench seat. Nicely uh, molded and detailed with the headrest, and of course you got the backs of the um, the back side of the uh, bench seat, and then you have your hubs. I believe these two are for the front, and these two are for the rear. And then you have your um, front grille with the uh, Dodge badging on there. Uh, it needs a little bit of cleanup on some of the parts, but overall it's really really nice. Um, and here's what the seats would look like being uh, put together so it just needs a little cleanup in this one um, you have the mighty uh, Viper V10 engine that goes into this truck so it's really really nicely detailed 
but not as nice as the one that AMT has with their um, Viper kit. So if you really want a good Viper motor, snag it out of that kit. That would be really cool. There's your starter. Here you got the headers and your pulley system, the water, water pump in the front of your engine. There's your valve covers and this is your radiator hose in the top. And then you have your hood hinges, uh, the shifter boot, the rear of the axle and the um, upper A-arms. You have your leaf springs and your axle. So it's really nice that they have them separate. And it's got the molded in clips for the um, leaf springs as well for the added detail. Here's the manifold here with the um, air intake system and the air filter um, molded in. I have no idea what that bottle is for, so if anybody can, you know, let me know what that is, that'd be greatly appreciated. I'd like to know. And this one, I believe, is the oil pan to the bottom of the, of the engine. So everything's straightforward. It needs a little bit of cleaning, but it's nicely detailed. There's a lot of things you can do with this. Okay, for this tree, we have our stock exhaust here, which runs all the way down. It's got a molded-in trailer hitch. I believe that's what it is. I could be wrong. Um, and then you have spots for where your chrome tail pi uh, uh, tailpipe pieces go. So you can also make it out of aluminum if you like. And then here you have the brake boot, um, the master cylinder. And then you have the, um, the, the steering column with the shifter, which is very nice. And then you have your detailed steering wheel with the Dodge badging in there. So it's pretty thick. And then there's the um, front of your radiator, also nicely detailed, nothing in the back because it glues onto the back of here. You have your um, rear shocks, so it comes with three of them, I think. Yeah, it comes with three of them. And then you, and it comes with this custom shifter, which uh, you can also drill out the holes if you like and to make it look really cool. Here you have your pedal, um, your pedal setup here. Got to remove those little tabs. And then here's the uh, the front of the radiator. So this is the front of the radiator. Also nicely detailed. It's got some lines going in there. So and that's the back side of it. And here's the uh, one part of the dash. Very nicely detailed. The air vents, the little knobs, the radio, everything. And, and I think the, this, this kit does come with decals for the um, gauges. But overall it's very, very nice, including even the glove box has got some detail. And then you've got the top of the dash again a lot of nice details so you can also add a grab bar if you really really wanted to you know so that's that one here's the um, rear tailgate which has been assembled it's two piece it's got the hinges in it and the molded in um, uh, door uh, the rear uh, tailgate handle so that's pretty nice and then here's the other uh, hood a very big hood okay and it's got some nice details overall, but again, the sink marks or these pin marks really kill it because you got to, you know, carefully put in the work without ruining the details. So other than that, it's pretty nice. Your hinges glue in here. Now, the other thing too, uh, the hinges are really hard to glue in here, so it, it takes a little ingenuity, I guess. Okay, next up we have the uh, front bumper, the front fascia where the uh, fog lamps go, and it's got the molded in vents. Uh, pretty nice bumper. It's got the chin spoiler too molded into it, but uh, very big and it's a very very nice looking bumper. Um, here we have our um, red tail lights. These are uh, molded in red. It's got some nice little detailing. I don't know if you could see it. It's a little bit raised, and then you got some little um, detailing in there. A um, little clean up, and they should fit perfectly. And then here you have your, your glass. Um, you got the rear window here. Um, it doesn't have like the separate thing, you know, like the little slider window and stuff like that. So, And there's the front windshield itself. You do have to paint the trim. You have to painstakingly paint the trim, so without messing up. Comes with molded in sun visors and this little, uh, little console there, I guess you can call it. You have to paint that. So. It's sad that they have this molded in. It, it would be great if it was a, a separate piece and you can paint it and whatever. So, But it is what it is. And then you have your fog lamp lenses here. You got your dome light. You got the fog lamp uh, light bulbs itself. You have the, uh, the gauge um, cover here. And then you got your headlights, uh, which are nicely uh, detailed. So there you have that. Uh, as far as the, uh, the chrome piece goes, 
Here are the rims. Really, really nice looking Viper wheels, and you got the front disc brakes because remember the rear has the um, the drums. So headlight buckets, your mirrors, and also your exhaust pipes, your exhaust tips for the rear. So the brakes don't look that bad. They look pretty nicely detailed. You just need to like strip them down and paint them aluminum and whatever else you want to do. Um, the tires are regular normal pickup truck tires. These are the ones that got the uh, nice Goodyear um, lettering. Um, and it's got nice tread. And these things got little tabs and stuff that really don't need to be on there. But it's all good. But I feel these tires are way too big for this truck and not really necessary. But it's up to you, you know. So, And then, of course, you have your instructions. And you have your decals that are inside, which these ones are no good. So um, they got the stripes, your, your, your uh, gauge cluster, and then your other badgings and stuff like that. So the only thing I'll be salvaging out of this is that one. So... And then here's your instructions with the truck, picture of the truck, and then you got your brief description of it, the information, your paint guide, the back is your uh, your decal placement, easy to follow, well illustrated um, instructions. Okay, it tells you what to paint and what to do, and that sort of thing. So that's it on my end, you guys. Thank you for letting me share this wonderful review. Hopefully you guys will like this video, and hopefully you guys will make this truck um, part of your um, your collection it's a really awesome kit but unfortunately there are some issues that need to be worked out it's all good so it is what it is stay tuned for the um, for the uh, the next um, model kit review and until then you guys keep your heads up no matter what through all the struggles keep hope keep faith keep up the great work keep on building those models keep doing what you're doing and I'll catch you guys later until the next video it's your boy Chaz Customs custom model cars signing out peace